wear this but um i can't even look at the camera and say this <laughs> so i am pregnant um i've only said i lied to my husband um it's very very early on it's 20th of june first of all 20th of june 2020 and hey fred um it's saturday i took a test two days ago and it was an early test um because i could just tell um i just knew i was i was getting these kind of period pain cramps but they're not like my normal cramps they, they were definitely that kind of ache and I had it all night and I couldn't sleep um so I took a test on the 18th so two days before I was due on and that had a very faint positive um so yeah I just knew I could just tell these weren't cramps if I if I get period pains I'm on immediately um or I come on and then I get my pains so I, I just my I just know my body especially in my menstrual cycle I, I know that like inside out um i took another test this morning um because it was it was faint um and i've been getting pains again and i was just like oh see i'm due on today to be getting cramps that aren't period pains when you're about to get your period is just it's just really a bit of a head <laughs> to be honest um, like I don't feel like it's happening. So anyway, the test this morning was positive and it was a stronger line. In fact, I'll show you afterwards. So yeah, I just thought I'm gonna film what happens. Hopefully everything goes okay. Um, I'm under no illusion that this might not go to plan. Um, I'm... It's all I can think about, and I didn't think I'd be like that. I am worried. I have personal worries about being pregnant. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on in my head at the moment. I have been so tired around mid-morning, and I'm such an energetic person in the morning. It's not normal for me. And today I feel a little bit queasy, so I've just been and brought some Ritz crackers, which are on the table, and probably in my teeth. Um, I had my normal smoothie this morning, but I couldn't finish it, which is, again, really unusual for me. I'm such a, I have such a big appetite. Um, so, yeah, I just, uh, I just feel weird. And it's so early, like it's probably, I'm only probably three weeks pregnant. And I can't tell anyone. I don't want to tell anyone because I just, I know that it might not go right. It might not go um, how I hope it goes. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to go show you my tests because you'll see how faint the one is and how much stronger the other one is today. I have got one more test because I bought those packs of like two or three. Um, this is all new to me. Um, it's, it's crazy. It's very weird. Um, but yeah. So yeah, this one was from the 18th and there's definitely a line there, but it's, it looks faint. In fact, it looks stronger now. That's weird. <laughs> and then this one was today's, which is definitely stronger. Uh, how weird is that? So, um, yeah, I just, this is the first update. This is the first of maybe no updates maybe a couple of updates i don't know i don't know how i'm going to document this but i just wanted to start documenting it because even if it's just cool for me to look back on yeah mad oh my god i'm trying not to think too far ahead but i can't help myself like i just can't wait to tell people in a few weeks time and i'm kind of thinking oh how do i want to tell so and so and how am i going to tell my mom and yeah, I just want it to be cute. I plan cute things. But, ah, see? I don't want to do that in case in case anything happens. <sighs> what time is it? It's only 12 o'clock. And I'm 
could literally fall asleep. This is only a four weeks, four weeks and one day. <laughs> and my sleep pattern's all off. I am, um, I wake up at half five, no, 20 past five. Um, and I've been, I've worked out this morning, but I'm tired. Better get up. Oh god, it's gonna get worse, isn't it? Week four. Four weeks. Um right then. Five weeks today. Um and my boobs are hurting. Like ow. I walked the dogs this morning, I was like, this is painful. Um so yeah, that's really my only update. Uh, it's five weeks and we have told uh, my mum and dad, my brother and his girlfriend, um, my partner's family and that's it. So yeah, that was nice. That was really, really nice. Uh, feels a lot more real now. Um, we told them, I know it's quite early, but um, we were kind of excited and it's really hard seeing people and someone offering you a glass of wine I'm trying to come up with an excuse as to why you're not drinking because oh, that was my stomach. Um, because I never say no to a glass of wine or a coffee, so um, yeah, it was just easier. In fact, the first thing when we went to my parents, we, went, we were sat in the garden, one was like, Do you want a glass of rose? and I was like, mm, We're gonna have to tell you a bit quicker, <laughs> so yeah, I'll put it to you. So yeah, that's my update. Five weeks, I feel really good. Um, I'm still waking up at 5am, which um, I did a little Google and that seems to be a symptom. So that's happening. Um, that and the lack of caffeine definitely means I'm tired, but I, I think maybe I'm getting used to it or I'm just kind of accepting it. I uh, don't feel sick. Um, boobs hurt. Yeah, otherwise all okay. So that's my five week update. Okay. So we have just um, got back from our eight week scan. Um, yeah, it was emotional. I cried a lot. Um, I knew I needed that scan anyway. I just needed to, to know that it, there was a heartbeat and, um, and yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. I saw his little heart beating. Uh, I did like a little wiggle. Uh, can see it's the old head and um, kind of like it's little arms and legs that are, are forming. So yeah, I'm measuring it eight weeks and four days. Um, I felt horrendous yesterday. I had a migraine and really bad sickness. Uh, sickness has been kicking my ass uh, for the last few weeks. So I've been really quiet on social and haven't really wanted to make any content. I'm sleeping a lot in the afternoon, so the morning is still my kind of most productive time uh, so I was trying to get everything done in the morning food shop housework get the dogs walked do some bits for myself and then come lunchtime I mean I threw my lunch up yesterday which was just horrific um because the retching I kind of just sorry TMI but um I was just kind of not actually bringing anything up before whereas now I'm starting to bring up food and, and all sorts, which hasn't been fun. Um, but I definitely feel like some kind of weight's been lifted going to that scan. Um, we went to a, a private place called Baby Vision. Uh, so we paid for that. So it's a quarter reassurance scan and you can have it, I think you can have it earlier than eight weeks, but eight weeks is probably when you're gonna see the heartbeat and there's probably more to see. Um, it's only two centimetres, um, yeah, it was so cute. So I have a midwife appointment on Friday and then we have our 12 week scan, which probably will probably be more likely to be in 13 weeks by then, um, in August. So yeah, another four weeks to wait. Oh, I've got a hiccup, sorry. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. If uh, if you're thinking about, or if you didn't know you can have scans and um, 
you would like to, to have a scan before 12 weeks, I would definitely recommend a reassurance scan. Um, it was £55 where we went, but it was worth every penny. Just, I cried. In fact, you can probably see all my makeup's come off. We had to wear a mask and obviously there was lots of um, hand sanitising and fill out a form, sanitise again. Um, my partner and my husband could come with me to this scan and I have a feeling that at the moment of the NHS, he won't be able to come to our 12 week scan, which makes me really sad. Um, this is like the first time we're experiencing this and it does make me really sad. But so we're not the only couple going through that and feeling that. Um, but as long as everything goes well on that scan, that's all that matters. But yeah, I'll update you at 12 weeks unless anything happens in between. Touch wood, um, it should all be good. But yeah, symptoms have been lots of sickness. Um, it was a lot of motion sickness. Then it kind of died down over the weekend and then it turned into a full on gut wrenching <laughs> sickness. Hello. Um, but yeah, and lots of afternoon naps mainly because I just don't move because I feel like I'm going to hurl. Um, food, not eating how I normally eat. Uh, totally off coffee, completely even decaf. I don't want any kind of coffee. So I'm just having kind of peppermint tea or lemon and ginger tea in the morning. Uh, Special K is all I can stomach for, for breakfast. Can't remember the last time I ate Special K, but I find that that's kind of just settles my stomach first thing and it's enough to get me out of bed and to walk the dogs and get ready for the day. Uh, what else? I just felt horrendous and feeling horrendous every day for it's going on like two, three weeks now. It, it kind of gets in your head or it got into my head. Um, but knowing that the baby is growing and it's where it needs to be at this stage and it's got a little heartbeat, it's just mad. Tiny little flutter. Um, yeah, it's kicking my ass, but I'm so happy. So anyway, that was a big update. I uh, will see you soon. Oh, so, um, we're on week nine, week nine plus, what am I? Plus three. Um, last week was horrendous. Um, I had two migraines, which was basically a week. Oh. Uh, a week of headaches. I had a migraine on the Monday and then the headache from that kind of travelled through into the Tuesday. Um, on the Tuesday I went to see the midwives and they were lovely. Um, had my bloods taken and all those kind of tests and went through a lot of questions. I don't know if I've already vlogged this. If I have, I'm sorry. Uh, last week is a, is a blur. Last week was brutal. Um, I'm so glad to see the end of week eight because that was tough. Um, then on the Wednesday, I had another migraine. I was literally in bed uh, with the curtains closed in here, uh, my sunglasses on, my f um, iPad and phone on night mode. So it kind of goes orangey, just trying to get work done. And then I spent a lot of it sleeping it off. I think I slept a lot. Was it the Wednesday or the Thursday? Yeah, the Wednesday evening because we were meant to go out for a date night. And um, I called James up because I couldn't I couldn't see out of my right eye. I had these like little flashing lights, which I used to get. And I think I used to get migraines when I was on the progesterone or progesterone, yeah, progesterone uh, pill. And that's why I came off it. So obviously my progesterone levels are extremely high or they've peaked uh, last week. And that's just how my body reacts. I get migraines. Um, so yeah, James very kindly ordered in a katsu curry and I don't know where it came from, but I was like, I want katsu curry. Find me katsu curry. It's all I can think about. And it was, it was epic. Um, did I throw that up? No, I didn't throw that up. I was very sick on the Monday. Oh no, before we ordered it in, I was throwing up water, which was not fun. Uh, so yeah. And then that headache traveled through into the Thursday. Oh, hello. And then it kind of eased on the Friday, but I still, I like just felt very fragile and very kind of sore, kind of almost like fluey, but without cold. Just my body was just, oh. And yeah, just kind of started to feel better and better. And today, I mean, touch wood, I feel the best I felt since probably week four, week five. Um, a tiny bit of queasiness, which I know I can 
kind of keep on top of if I just have a little snack or um, a meal. I went and got a panini today. Oh my God, I don't know the last time I went and bought a panini. I went to Nero's, I got the mozzarella, ham and pesto. I wasn't going to eat it all. I demolished it. So appetite's back. Still wanting beige foods, but this had a little bit more. Can you stop? A little bit more flavour with the pesto. Oh, yeah, it was just epic. So I'm just listening to what my body wants. If my body wants a, a panini, I'm going to go get myself a panini. Um, so I'm hoping it's, it stays like this because I kind of feel myself today. I feel happier. Not that I wasn't happy. I'm obviously happy. Um, but I, I was really starting to get a bit down and just a bit like, this is not me. This is not how I've been for for so many months. And it just kind of made me feel sad. Um, but yeah, this morning was good. I did um, a yoga flow, just 25 minute one. That was nice. And I've shared some Instagram stories because people at work were starting to ask where I was. And I was like, shit, they don't know. So I better shove some stuff on Instagram. So yeah, if you noticed I was quiet for a bit on Instagram, then that was why, because I had a really shit week. <laughs> These two have been great. They smell, I can smell everything. He's just gonna sit on my shoulder. They've been really good though, very loving. You're gonna be a big brother. You're gonna be a big, big, a good big brother. A big, big brother. Betty, you're gonna be a big sister. Okay. Oh, you smell so bad to me now. In fact, no, I was sick on Saturday because you licked me and I smelt your breath. And I just went, I had to run. I literally had to run to retch. I'm sorry. Oh, it's not probably your normal breath but to me it stinks i'm very sorry um but yeah i think you can probably tell i just have more energy i feel more chatty um less fragile yeah fingers crossed fingers crossed that that was the peak of my hormones and the peak of the nausea and migraines i really don't fancy getting a migraine this week because it just knocks me about for two or three days i know and it's not fun but yeah, that's week nine. I probably, unless anything happens, I'll probably skip through to week 12, which is when we have our scan. Excited to see how much a little jelly baby has grown. Yes. Yeah, I'm excited. I am excited. Very happy. Um, caught my husband looking at baby names in bed on Sunday, which made me want to cry. <sighs> so yeah, feeling love my husband right now as always i'm obsessed with him but yeah anyway i'm gonna go that's week nine. Oh my god so i think it's been three weeks i'm just editing this kind of vlog i don't know what to call it pregnancy announcement craziest three months of my life um and i don't think i've vlogged since week nine and i was talking about migraines well, had enough migraine, I've had a few migraines. Um, I'm not sure how many since, but I had a really, really bad one on Friday. It was awful and I was very sick. Um, in fact, it makes me feel queasy now because I'm just, my head's still quite, quite tender, especially around here. Um, and they're so horrible. And all I can do is shut the curtains and go to bed and when you're trying to work and when you're trying to keep the house tidy and cook dinner and look after the dogs and all the things that you have to do in life just having to put yourself in bed to get over a migraine is so frustrating and they are so debilitating I can't I cannot function when I have one um and then after that so the day after my head's still very sore it's like having a bad headache then I think they call it a migraine hangover and I was sick again on the Saturday morning and then I went into town and I think it kind of affects not my balance, but I'm just a bit disorientated and I tripped over in town and had a massive cry and I was meeting my mum and sobbed to her for a bit. And then I felt fine, like we had a, had a nice uh, bit of breakfast in town, sat out in the sun, so that was lovely. Uh, but my head is tender for the whole weekend and it's just, 
a bit shit. Um, this kind of ruins my appetite, ruins all my meals. And I know it sounds really moany. It's just, it just, they just suck. They really suck. And I, I thought I'd got over my migraines. I had migraines quite bad. Um, suff suffered from them quite badly. Oh, it's going back over eight years ago now. And I think I've mentioned that I came off, off the pill because of that, or I came off a certain type of pill uh, because they were so bad. Um, and I haven't really had them to this extreme like since. I get I used to get the odd one when I was ovulating, um, but ne never as intense as this. And I'm just kind of concerned that they're going to be around for the whole of the pregnancy because I really want to enjoy the pregnancy. And um, my appetite's back. I'm not sick unless I have a migraine. Um, and even today, so now it's Monday, so we're on day four from the migraine. And I still, like, it's really grey today and it's that kind of harsh light. Does that make sense? And I can feel I'm very squinty. Um, so, yeah, migraines suck. And I'm so, so annoyed. Let's hope they ease. I really can't take anything to, to kind of, stop them so got two very sleepy puppies here but yeah so it's a week 12 um my energy levels have definitely increased i'm kind of going to bed later and not wanting to sleep in as much um started to wake up about half five six again which is still too early i still would like to get up at half six really into nectarines at the moment was really into oranges and then i threw one up on on friday and that's how it makes me feel now <laughs> Pregnancy just it does really open your eyes. Um, oh wow, can't talk about oranges. Gutted because they were so refreshing last week. Um, oh, it's making me gurgle. Oh lordy. Okay, so yeah, twelve weeks and well, going by my eight week scan, I am twelve weeks plus three. Yes, and tomorrow is our official kind of NHS 12 week scan or our dating scan. So hopefully whatever they measure, hopefully everything is okay down there. And yeah, very, very excited. I've been waiting for this scan for, for what feels like forever. As soon as the letter came through with the date, the first 12 weeks are very long because people still don't know. And there are a lot of pregnant people in my life. I mean, the, the, the ones closest to me do know but there are a lot of pregnant people in my extended life. <laughs> There's pregnant people at work and I really want to tell the pregnant girl at work. Is, oh, can I say that? Can I say she's pregnant on my friend? Anyway, my friend at work is pregnant. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really want to tell her. It's killing me. Um, but yeah, I will probably vlog tomorrow after the scan. I'm so sorry if you've had to go to scans on your own. I was dreading it. Um, and there's been um, an update on the NHS website that you can now take one person into your scan, into your 12 week and 20 week scan. And um, yeah, I'm really relieved because I'm, a, I'm an anxious person um, and this is our first pregnancy and I really want him there. I really want him to share every single possible thing <laughs> and I want him to see it. And yeah, I just want to be with him when that happens. So tomorrow 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 god it's taken a long time to get there 12 weeks it's three months it's, it's a quarter of the year it's a big old chunk of time but looking back at this it's also kind of flown by it's really weird it's really weird the um the sickness dragged god did that drag so yeah i'm gonna finish this vlog or finish editing this vlog tomorrow and then hopefully share it hopefully as long as tomorrow goes well It's pouring down. It's miserable again. We had a massive heat wave and now it's raining. So these two are just chilling. Aren't you? You're just chilling. Oh, hello, Fred. Oh, whoa, whoa. You still stink. <laughs> I still find them stinky. Sense of smell definitely is still quite strong. Yeah, you've just moved and I can smell you. <laughs> anyway, bye. All right then. It has been a very long time since I have vlogged outside but um, we had our 12 week scan yesterday and it all went amazingly 
Uh, so today we have been telling the guys in the office at The Curious and that has been so much fun. Um, and it's like telling extended family and I'm going to put it on my Instagram tonight. So taking a little picture for that and yeah, just taking the dogs out. But yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. And that is the first trimester pretty much done. Um, I think hopefully now content wise will be more about um, pregnancy outfits, still sticking with black. Um, there'll obviously be some new stuff going on in the house as I will be changing my dressing room into a nursery, uh, which I'm absolutely buzzing about, to be honest. <laughs> I really don't mind. Um, so yeah, I will be documenting that. And yeah, more outfits, any kind of baby stuff that we get that you might be interested in. There will definitely be a running theme of black. Uh, so yeah, black push chair, that kind of thing. And the odd black baby grow. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you soon. Bye. <laughs> These are very happy tears. I don't know why it suddenly just hit me. I've just put it on Instagram, which I know sounds really silly. Just put it on Instagram and all these messages are flooding in and comments um, on the picture, just such lovely comments. And I'm just, I think I'm just allowing myself to be really excited now. <laughs> Sorry. I know I said I would end the vlog before, but yeah, I think it's just hit me. I think the last 12 weeks, especially the last kind of that middle section when I was feeling just really shit. And I know people feel really shit when they're pregnant. Well, actually, no, I didn't know that. It's people hide it really well. And um, today has just felt incredible. The last two days have just felt amazing. I just feel really happy. I just can't believe I'm going to be a mum. Anyway, <laughs> oh my gosh, um, yeah, thank you, it, I, I've literally shared it about 10 minutes ago and already there have been so many lovely, lovely messages, that's one thing, it's a bit like when, when I got married or when we got married, I say I, sorry, he's nowhere to be seen, he's, um, he's at a, at a meeting actually, uh, yeah, when we got married and we, we did that quite secretly, and when we shared that and just the love you get when when you share something um exciting and that involves love the amount of love you get back is just incredible <laughs> and i'm just really feeling the love and i think i've been feeling the love hugely for for my husband and um sorry really sniffly and our family and having that little love bubble but it's just so nice now just to extend it out and let people know and i just suddenly feel like i have a lot of support as well because it can be quite lonely when you're keeping it secret and you're feeling like shit and you can't tell people that you feel like shit because they'll probably guess why <laughs> anyway i just thought i would end it on a very raw unreal emotion because uh, i don't feel like i've been that emotional in this vlog um, obviously I have over the last 12 weeks, I've just not kind of recorded it. But anyway, whew. yes, lots of you are saying you're excited for the black um, baby outfits, which yes, there will be some, definitely. Oh. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the love. And um, yeah, hopefully content will start to come out a bit more regularly now because I just couldn't face it until now. Anyway, bye guys. Bye.